heavy weight, low reps, or low weight, more reps? Which one should you do? Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today we're going to be discussing two different types of training styles. But before we get into that video, if you can give this video a like, a share, and most importantly, a subscribe, it will help me out a lot. And let's go ahead and get into the topic. So I was recently asked which training style is a lot better. Lower reps with heavier weight, or lower weight with more reps. Now, it kind of depends on what you want to do, but... I'm going to give you my personal answer, and that is I would train both if I were you. But, again, people have two different styles of training. If you want to be a power lifter, I would say go for more of heavier weight with lower reps. And if you want to be a bodybuilder, go for the lower weight with more reps. Because a power lifter has to keep continuing to increase his numbers or her numbers on their, their lifts. And a bodybuilder is their main objective is to put on size two different things so what a power lifter has to do is they have to keep stressing out their muscles and their nervous system to therefore increase their strength for their lifts whereas a bodybuilder they want to increase the fluid inside of their muscles therefore it makes them look bigger they get bigger so again a power lifter typically goes for the lower weight to increase their strength bodybuilder typically goes um, for the lower weight with the higher reps but if you want to increase your strength and your size I recommend doing both I do that in my training um, I typically go for the first two sets of heavy weight with lower reps and then the last two to three sets I typically do lower weight with more reps with time under tension that increases the fluid in my muscles and it makes them bigger I recommend doing that but not everybody has that different type of style you know what I mean because I know a lot of bodybuilders who are very committed to lower weight and higher reps and a, that type of hypertrophy makes them look a lot bigger whereas I want to increase my strength so I'm going to do both a power lifter is not they're gonna be more focused on heavier lifting I mean there's some lifters out there um, power lifters and they can throw like 315 over their head. I can't even do that. Okay, so that's what their objective is. That's not mine. Mine is to typically get stronger with the first two sets. And then I increase the rep range and lower the weight on the next two to three sets of a given lift that I do. For an example, I was doing weighted chin-ups today. I did two heavy sets. I did 110 pound chin-ups for four reps. Dropped it down to 90 for six to eight reps. I can't remember which how much I did. And I dropped it down to 80 pounds for 12, and then so on and so forth. And I increased the reps and I lowered the weight. That's also called reverse pyramid training, if you didn't know that. But um, that's what I do is that I focus on my strength part on the first two sets of a given lift, and then the last I typically focus more on the fluid. And my muscles so again if you lift more weight with less reps that's called myofibular hypertrophy if you are doing lighter weight with more reps for the pump that is called sarcoplasmic training two different styles you should definitely inquire both um, they're both phenomenal on increasing your strength and you also increase your size in the process I know a lot of people who choose one over the other but if it were me giving you this option I would recommend both but again if you're going to be training heavy with lower reps be careful because you can actually be more prone to injury if you can't handle the weight so that's going to have to do it for this video guys I hope this was very informative please give it a like share most importantly subscribe check out what I got in the description below I have a bunch of discount codes on supplements on my FNX supplements um, I have some t-shirt discounts you guys can go on and the uh, description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.